Good morning, friends. Good morning. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay. Today we are going to hear a story about the prophets. We are going to hear a story about a prophet named Jonah. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah. And the Lord said, I want you to go to Nineveh, that great city. I want you to tell them that they are bad and that they need to change and become good. But Jonah went and found a boat heading to Tarshish in Spain. It was about a far away from Nineveh as you could get. Now, a prophet is someone who is so close to God, and God is so close to them that they know what God is telling them to do. Jonah got on the boat and a great storm arose. Now the sailors were afraid. They each began to pray to their own gods to save them. They started throwing everything they had on their boat overboard so that it would be lighter and it would float. Now a prophet is someone who helps people know what to do. The sailors went and found Jonah, and do you know where he was? He was asleep at the bottom of the boat. The captain commanded Jonah to come up, but all Jonah did was stand on the deck. Now, a prophet is someone who helps people but Jonah didn't say anything. The storm got even worse and the sailors were more and more afraid and so they started casting lots to see who they could throw overboard, who had made God angry. Jonah still didn't say anything. The storm got even worse and they got even more afraid. They asked Jonah who he was, and he said that he worshipped the one true God, the one who made the water and the dry land. And then they became even more afraid because they knew that Jonah was running from God. Finally, Jonah said, throw me over and the storm will cease. So they did. the sea grew calm. Now, a prophet is someone who helps people draw close to God by what they say and by what they do. Jonah said nothing. But the sailors knew that the one true God was there, and so they fell down and worshipped God. Now, a prophet is someone who is close to God. A false prophet is someone who is far from God. Jonah was neither close nor far from God. Jonah was sinking. Suddenly, a great big fish swam up and swallowed Jonah whole. Jonah was in the belly of the big fish for three days 
and three nights. Jonah began to pray. The fish started to feel strange. He got sicker and sicker. And finally, the fish swam up to dry land and vomited Jonah out on the shore. This time, Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the people there that God wanted them to change, that they were bad and God wanted them to become good. Now, a prophet is someone who rejoices when people change their ways. The people listened to Jonah, and they did not want their city to be destroyed, so they changed their ways. They were bad, and they became good. They put on sackcloth and ashes to show just how sorry they were. Even the king and queen changed and became good, and the cattle in the field became good. Now, this made Jonah angry. He didn't want the people of Nineveh to be saved. They weren't even followers of the one true God. He wanted the city to be destroyed. So he went out onto a hill and he sat and he sulked. Why are you angry, God said. Then God caused a bush to grow, to give Jonah shade in the hot sun. Soon a worm came and destroyed the bush and it died. Jonah was angry. God said, why are you angry? Jonah said, I am angry, angry enough to die. God said, why do you pity the plant? You did not cause it to grow. You did not care for it. Should I not also care and pity the city of Nineveh where there are 120,000 people and their cattle? And that is the end of the story.